So again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I don't want to talk about what temperature it is. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be good for morale. I found my glasses and that's a really good start. I have little swipe cards. I even have a couple little swipe cards duct taped to the end of a skewer, to both ends of a skewer. I got a wet rag handy to wet my tools off if I need them. I've got all of my Princeton Archel Catalyst spatulas, my number one being my, my favorite, that's why I have two. And uh, all of those things are available in the Amazon link underneath show more there or above show more wherever you find the link tree all my other links are there. So shovels come from the dollar store. Oxo omelet turning spatulas are the best paint spreading tool around. Skewers I'm pretty sure you can get at the supermarket. So many people gave me skewers I've never had to buy any. Um, I think this came from laundry and I think somebody gave it to me and I might use that. Oh it says OxyClean on it. This was a gift. Thank you very much and I am going to add my colors into this large pan of refuse and hope that I can scoop them out again. And because I've never used this before and it was somebody's favorite tool that they donated to me, I'm hoping that I can, I can somehow <coughs> skim the bottom of it without catching too badly on the paint that's already in there. I've not shaken up all my colors and I want to put a base color in. I haven't completely made up my mind what color it will be, so I think I'm going to give myself Oh, maybe I'll just give myself whatever will come out of a bottle. I checked all my other bottles except for this one, and this is the uh, this is the black enamel acrylic, which usually makes everything sell, even just by its presence with other colors. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to try and rig this so that I have an opportunity to stretch the paint a little further than I usually do, and I'm just going to start. <laughs> I think so. Anyway. Let's find some white. So, Because white and black sell together, I would like some cells. I'm not necessarily going to start with my favorite colors first, but I'm going to start with whatever comes to mind and shake it up. i got to remember to shake it up. I did squeeze my bottles before I started this to make sure that there was air flowing out. And uh, I haven't been out here for a couple days because it's been too hot and I've been way busy. This is a, I don't know what that last purple one was, but I know that this is a berry from Decor at Americana, a berry metallic. And I got, my muse sent me a message to, to indulge myself in the neon pink, which is always kind of, always kind of freaks me out. But I think if I put it next to my favorite neon faux cart multi-surface acrylic purple, it'll probably be okay. I already got some cells over here. That light purple made the cells really nicely. Try not to dump too many things over. I want to like what I see before I scoop it out. This is my new emerald green, really similar to the folk art over here, color shifting, except for this is iridescent and that's color shifting. And this is decor at Americana and that's folk art. If you guys ever got any questions for me, please feel free to just ask me. This is a forest green with some metallic. I think it was from. Uh, I'm not sure who it was from actually, but I know I put golden iridescent pearl fine in there from golden. I said it twice. Yes, I did. So this is a turquoise metallic. And any colors I don't have that are metallic, I make up with that golden iridescent pearl fine. It's, uh, it's a very valuable thing to me. So I want to make sure, and that's a dioxidine purple, and I think that that is a, uh, a modern master's brand. This is my green gold from Folk Art, and that's a color shift. I am going to throw a little bit of, let me make sure it's shaken, a little bit of orange in there, here and there. Usually zhuzhes everything up nicely, and I'll keep that on standby because I'll probably want some more. This time I'm going to use my 24 karat gold. I add some orange. This time I added orange unicorn spit, which is a stain. And I added that. That is on my Amazon link along with a lot of other things. And it's not mixed completely, which makes it look really cool. I thought it was. I shook it about 30 times, but evidently it didn't pan out. So this is my favorite purple flash, color shifting purple from Folk Art that I use constantly. And I'm hoping when I pick these up that they'll be as stripey as they usually are. I've been hoarding this 
the last little dregs of this um, mysterious, which is a, a turquoise, a deep teal iridescent. I'm going to add a little more white. I just made up some Anita's white metallic, which I usually refer to as pearl. And I'm just going to forcefully squeeze a little bit of that in there. I know there's a color I'm forgetting. There's my magenta. Yeah, I think all the colors are in here, basically. And I'm going to go back again. Oh, am I? I never did. Wow. I could have sworn I unplugged that, but really what I did was pour it right out. So I'm going to unplug that bottle. The, um, the acrylic enamels, black, white, whatever, if you get them on your hands, get them off quickly because once they're on there, it's a lot like putting nail polish on your skin. It, uh, it definitely stays put. All right, what do I see that I want? Anything, anything, anything at all? Oh, there's my turquoise color shift, which looks a lot like a few other things, but uh, shimmers beautifully. And I have, last but not least, is my favorite Modern Masters Blue, which is a color shift, but it usually sinks away. So I'm going to put a little bit in there to see how I like it, and then I will add whatever I need to afterwards. I didn't put any gold in there either. Okay, so this is like the five-minute color bath. And I have pre-primed my 20 by 24 inch canvas black. And I've got most of my paints out of the way. It will not fit my turntable very nicely. I'm going to put my other tools aside. I'm going to put the color aside. I'm going to bring this over here. And I'm going to cant my turntable a little bit. Now, what I want to do is give myself some base. And I see I've got a couple scratches here, so that's not a bad idea. So that's a hefty base. And I'm going to spread some of that right down here because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. I'm covering all the bases today. Hey, you guys, if you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. There's a couple thousand of you. Thank you for being here. And I am just going to spread that out willy-nilly. It does not matter because I expect for a moment or two that the chances are I'll be tipping. Whatever I do, I better do it fast because, like I said, it's probably... I'm going to guess it's over 100 under the tent right now. And uh, I don't really want to know. I, I keep cold things around my neck, cold things out of the freezer, and cold things tucked away in little places to keep my heart pumping cold air. All right, so I didn't spread a smooth layer, and I really could have. But I am going to use this OXO omelet turning spatula, best paint spreading tool around. Bar none. Yeah, I'm obsessive compulsive and I'm just going to keep spreading paint until I get a somewhat even coverage everywhere, which is not what I originally planned. I planned to have a puddle in the center and tip what I added with the spatula. But you guys can see how well this spatula works right now, except for that right there. I have a pair of tweezers. They're over there way over there on the other side of this canvas. So, sometimes my thumbnail comes in really handy. All right, I don't see too many too many bad objects in here, which is cool, and I need to get moving. Oh, I see a little... That was clever of me. I picked up a piece of grass seed <laughs> off the side of the canvas, which is... Let's see if I got tweezers. There they are. Whatever that is can go away. All right, this spatula is going in the bucket. I use Floetrol in my paint mixtures, and my recipe is below the video. It's changed somewhat because DecoArt Pouring Medium is not readily available at this exact moment. If it is again, I will probably try and use it again because I really liked how it selled mixed with the Floetrol, and that's the recipe you'll find. All right, so time to grab a scoop. I'm nervous. I wonder if I can balance this large pan of color. I, should, I probably feel like I should just dump it out. I'm going to put it down. And now I'm going to swing it around. Am I? <laughs> I think so. I don't have enough hands. And I definitely don't have a big enough tile. Alright, so I'm going to grab some more paint. Try not to catch it on the bottom.
And I think I'm just going to keep doing that. Well, you know what? I lie. I'm going to scrape off what I like with a Princeton Art Tool Cattle Spatula because I can. I'm going to use that shovel. I'm going to put this, this in the bucket. My first time using it. I'm going to grab a shovel and I'm going to take some of the paint out of the bottom here and I'm going to grab two things. I'm going to grab my blue that's a Venetian blue from is it Modern Masters? I think so. Now maybe I want to wait on my next shovel full because I want to tip this. Well, I say that and then I don't do that. Um, I keep wanting to spiral, make spirals with my shovel, my shoveled, shoveled ribbon dribbles. I'm going to let all of that start to relax and I made some mud, but this is kind of cool and this is the place for me to start. I did grab some edge catchers, which if I don't catch an edge with it, they'll at least catch the flow of paint. So I'm going to let the paint go in a couple directions and then because it tends to go in rivulets, I'm going to probably go in there with a skewer and or a basting brush. I didn't get any paint to fall off, but that's okay because I got great colors. So I like the sound of the basting brush, but I'm going to put that gold in I was thinking about first. Let's try one side before I get too involved in that. And where is the blue? There it is. The blue is good. I definitely need to keep moving though. I definitely wanted to do this on a much larger canvas. So this is that. And it occurs to me I can go both directions, although I don't usually remember to do so. That was a bug in my ear. <laughs> so much for the fun of the out great outdoors. Now I'm going to assume I can turn this the other way. That's all right with me. I don't mind that at all. Let's go all the way around the other way before deciding what comes next. All right, I can see most of that. So I'm going to grab a spatula right now. And add a little something something just because I can. I kind of want some turquoise. Color shift. Just because it's a favorite, as well as the blue, and it also makes another area of color. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I can definitely waggle with the best of them. <laughs> that just sounds wrong. Yeah, I like the waggles. And the waggles are precursor to the basting brush, which I am going to do right now. And I may still tip it. I didn't put enough red in there, but I don't mind what I've got either. If I want something else, now's the time. You see, that's all. Dribbly. I've got a few of those spirals and we'll see how many more I want. I'm going to go ahead. I know I'm going to put some more spirals in there. I just got to be able to lift this up. 
I know the paint is heavier on this downside. Well, at least I thought it was. Yes, it's still moving a little bit. I'd really like to be able to see that. I'm going end to end. That's all there is to it. Right down the middle. Try and get my edge catcher back in position. I'm actually going to watch the flow of my paint. And when I get someplace that I like, I'm going to have to have a look at it. And if I want another shovel full of paint, I've got it. Got to remember to camp that turntable. All right, so what do I got here that I want to change? I got little bits of gold, oh, excuse me, white. I don't have nearly enough gold. Not nearly enough. I kind of want some orange because most of it has disappeared. got two minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork and I give classes at the house in Spring Hill Florida come on go go thank you and the Teespring clothing below the video is a place where you can find all of her print t-shirts and uh, leggings I might sneak a little bit more of that neon pink in there just because it's so much fun but that makes me think that I should grab my favorite colors, too. I'm not minding any of this. I uh, watched it sink away. Where's my skewer? I have a straw. I do want to put some more pink in there. So I love you guys. There's over 88,000 of you, and I'm really happy that you're here. And things are going pretty well. They're improved. They're improved from what they were last winter by far. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> and what else do I want to do? I want to swivel this around so I can see it more easily, but that's really a tall order because the turntable is not big enough, and the space is a little lacking also. I kind of want to put some white pearl in there, but I'm not sure how many places I really want to put it. Let's try a little bit of a trail. So what else should I tell you about? I've got Facebook groups, Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. You can find that on the link tree. Expression to Start Studio Gallery Totes and More is for anybody looking to see what's on Pixels.com, Fine Art America, and all of the masses amount of posts that I've been putting there since 2013. If you're interested in making a purchase, my email address is right below the video. And all the other links on the link tree will work, but you're welcome to ask me, make a request, make a comment. Thank you for all the co great comments. Look for the exhibition video on the end screens because it's got this month's prizes for the, for the drawing winner. July, July 21st, I'm going to have another drawing and uh, there will be paintings and you can see there are four paintings up for grabs. I'm going to torch this really quickly. I wish I had grabbed my crib sheet before this by now but um, I want to thank everybody who's made a donation to help keep me painting. I really appreciate your help. Thank you so much. I love you all dearly. Whatever this is, it is what it is and it's, uh, it's wild and kind of out there but I like it and I'm not going to complain about it. <laughs> There's probably a few things here and there I wouldn't mind seeing change, but I'm not sure what they are yet. And uh, so if you see a few more spirals when you see the finished piece, you'll understand exactly what happened. And I don't want to go too crazy. And I like what I've got. I'm pretty good with it. There might be a couple more things. <laughs> 